What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we are in the island of Kanu. It's a little bit cloudy. A little bit of a cloudy day. But you can also see how beautiful and crystal crystal clear the water is, right? Yes, it's, it's beautiful. It's Bahama style. And today we are starting on the job of provisioning for our trip to Los Roques. We're Alejo and Andrea, and we've been living on a sailboat for the past two and a half years. We decided to sail to Venezuela, so today we are provisioning and preparing for our passage. Here, very important people. They kill whales here, which is insane. Listen to me, I think. And we are actually super, super low on groceries and all kinds of food to be honest. Barely done any fishing here. You can't spear fish here, so we really the situation of food in Kakuna is really bad today. Even though this island, uh, the supermarket's not going to be huge, it's still a very small island. The reason why we came here is because since all these yachts come here and I think most of the planes that come here are private jets, right? So they do get a lot of different items and supplies that are international. So here we're going to be able to find those foods that probably we won't find in Begue because they're just not getting them for the local people. Check out the crazy huge yachts that are all around us. I mean really huge. These people are on the next level. So the marina is super nice. You can see all like the gas station. It's like organized. Super fancy area here. Very super fancy. fancy marina. Look at the things like your boat, like the water, the electricity. Super yeah. Organized. Seriously, super Very nice. So this is like another world in a island. So you can see the architecture. Well, it just feels like a super billionaire, multi-billionaire just came here and was like, oh, I need somewhere to just chill in the Caribbean. And they are making a mess from the engine. So this 36. Oh. This one. It's 36 ECs, which is 36.75. 30. $14. Hi, how are you? How much is this one? I can explain the price. Uh, no, we're not taking it. Oh, we're taking this. I think it's the most expensive supermarket that we've ever been to. <laughs> right? <laughs> For sure. And I'm sure all these yachts and the people that stay in these yachts don't mind paying. Whatever. They, they pay whatever they charge because they have the money to do it. We just talked to one of the crew members at the yacht that is right behind me. And he was telling us that but yeah, don't buy from that store because <laughs> he's like, unless you have a boat card, don't buy, it's crazy expensive. And he was also telling us that the reason why there's so many yachts here, like they do a lot of charters. He said that all these yachts are charters, right? Yeah. Like they just do con uh, private charters. This is the only island, the only private island where the private yachts can fly into. That re fancy? Re fancy. <laughs> so this is, novel. this is another level. This yeah, is where the rich it. come to play. <laughs> they even get bottles of water and like the little tennis and stuff. This is beach tennis. The beach tennis? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that hey, is. This is the life that I deserve. Why don't you make more money? <laughs> well... It's funny how we were talking that everything is so relative, you know? If we arrive to a country like Colombia, we arrive on our sailboat, 
they're gonna think, wow, these people, you know, they have a catamaran, that's a, a lot of money and they have a lot of money. And then we come here to places like this one, we're like, wow, that people, they have a lot of money. We're like, we are, you know, nothing compared to those people. So everything's relative, you know? So all the sailboats go to that corner where you can't see them. <laughs> all the yachts are right here in the entrance. Right, where they get off and they're already right there stepping on the beautiful little town. Next stop, Bagway. Right? We are leaving this beautiful marina. We're gonna keep going a little bit more north to Bagway, where we can get more, more groceries. I just raised the main cell. Hopefully we get the right angle today of wind. According to the forecast, we're gonna be able to sail. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. left to town to get a few runs of diesel we have to do a lot of things here from provisioning getting diesel we need to change money uh, so we can go to Los Roques obviously there we won't be able to pay anything with card we need cash everything's in dollars US dollars not Caribbean dollars and here we can only get $35 right 35 US dollars per person per day because we don't have a budget now a bank account so that's why uh, we're going to town right now we're gonna make sure that we get those $35 for each one of us so it's $70 in total we were thinking about taking like $500 because we don't know how much we're gonna have to pay in costumes so I did two runs of diesel this morning yeah. the reason we're going to the town to get diesel is because it's much cheaper than the marina uh, the marina is 18 easy per gallon in the town is 12 easy per gallon anything left on the boat so we've been eating pretty much like pasta pasta the Thank past you. all day like for about like week a week now uh and we were just passing by 
and it smelled like chicken, like fresh chicken. And I'm vegetarian. I don't even like chicken, but it just smells so good. And I'm so hungry. At least we know we came to the right place to buy food because clearly the other islands were just zero, zero supplies. Oh. So we just left the bank, they didn't allow us to record there and we made it to the grocery store and it's amazing. Captain? Yes, we made it. Everything here, prices are decent, normal. So pretty excited. I'm so hungry that I am about to buy a little bit of everything. They even have ice cream, sir. Have turkey bacon. So this is day number two here in Bequay, Bequia, Bequay, I don't know how to say it, but yeah. We're here and we're going again to land. We're going again to a bank because we can only exchange 100 EC, $2, which is about $35 per person. So today we're gonna go to a bank. We're gonna try to go see another grocery store. Tumblr people, something. Ears, very important people, ears. <laughs> For us that have big ears. Yes. That's not me, that's you. I have a big ear. Ladies and gentlemen, Andres gonna attempt to jump in the dinghy. Oh, no, 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 it's Ibu Lando. Oh, oh, oh! Woo, 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 woo! Good. Good. So choppy. Very, very choppy. So I just found the craziest thing here as I was looking through souvenirs. Um, I found that they kill whales here, which is insane! Watch this. Uh, let me ask you a question. What is this? It's an olive pile, um, cross Atlantic killer whale, cross killer whale, and the pilot whale. So these are super collection. Wait, so this is a real whale? A real whale. <laughs> Listen to me, I take the one you have in the neck and I make the real one from the real teeth. That's plastic, I don't do plastic. I will make the real one for you from anything else. Wait, so they kill whales here? We are whaling station, my darling. We're what? You didn't know we have two whaling stations in St. Vincent? So this is from a pilot whale? There's a pilot whale, these are the first killer whale and these are the Atlantic killer whale. So we do different whales. So you guys have been killing whales for a long time? We've been doing it for a couple of hundred years, I guess. Really? Uh, Thank God. Don't you think so? Hmm? Don't you think so? It's good that they don't allow selling it in America? Yeah. Otherwise, think, we, would be, we would be extinct of whales if it was allowed in America. Um, I agree with you. Yeah? <laughs> so, that is the terrible story of St. Vincent and Grenadines killing whales. Two whales a year. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't care if someone's gonna come in here about like culture and tradition and whatnot. No, I, I don't want to be rude, money. but I it's don't give up. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Fill it up, because I don't care. There's no reason for people to be killing these incredible, amazing animals that are already in danger. We barely have any of them, you know? We should be grateful that we get to see a whale. Like, this is a whale teeth, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is a whale teeth. And then this. This one's a shark teeth. That's a shark teeth. Okay. Do you guys get an allowance on the number of sharks you get to kill as well? Like just like with the same with the whales? No. You just no, kill as many as you want? Yeah, you make as many as you want. And they don't really catch the shark more than so. They don't do what? Once in a while you catch the shark. Okay. And the whales you do get to a year? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Thank you. A que depresión. No lo puedo creer. Te lo juro, I can't believe it. So I know the guy that I was talking to said that, you know, they eat the whale and they use the oil and that it's a delicacy. Let me tell you something. They say the same crap about sharks in China, that the shark fin soup is a delicacy. And we have already decreased our populations of sharks by 70%. So let's just get something straight. Delicacy, like us having and trying something that's delicious, it should have nothing to do with us, like almost taking a whole species almost to extinction. So we are getting gas, we're getting fuel for the dinghy and we found this 
So two good things happened today. The first one is that we were able to exchange money from a local. Um, he was a super nice guy. He actually needed to change dollars for Easy's. And so he gave us the money and we gave him our Easy's. We found two supermarkets that actually have more, well, no, they have the same amount of stock than the supermarket that we went to yesterday, but it's actually a lot cheaper because that's where the locals buy. So how does it feel getting groceries in St. Vincent Grenadines in Bequia? Bequia? Good, at least we found more stuff than we expected, yes. which is positive. Uh, yes. we start, we're still missing all the fruits and vegetables, so we have to go again and do another run. Like we're missing in another place, so we're missing two more stops. Two but more stops. the hardest part, I think, where we had, where we... Yes, so that's all our stops. groceries. They're helping us take it to a dinghy dock because so, it's a lot. And yeah, anything else? Uh-uh. No, I already want to get it done with. <laughs> Guys, and before we keep going with this video, I just want to say that we have gotten a lot of questions about how we buy, how we bought the sailboat, how we made the decision between this one and a monohull, or you know how we were able to finance it, the story. You know, we actually wrote a guide a couple of months ago where we tell you exactly the whole story. You know, the nightmare of buying a boat, how we went through it, how we were able to finance it, exactly what company we used to finance it, exactly what kind of insurance company we have all the story we have it on our sailboat for buyers if you're interested in buying a boat it's going to be super helpful it's going to avoid you know a lot of mistakes that we made for not knowing because honestly we just had no idea so make sure you click on the link below check it out um super it's only 15 dollars, and it will just save you a lot of hassles that we had to go through so make sure you check it out let's keep rolling the video we were gonna Head out today to Los Roques, but yesterday we got caught up doing provisioning, getting ready, leaving some things for work ready because we don't know if we're gonna have internet in, the, in Los Roques. So yeah, that was very important. So now I'm going to a town, I'm gonna do a checkout, buy a few things last minute, and that's it. In customs, it's right here, customs and immigration. I'm gonna do a checkout uh, and then I'm gonna stop at the grocery store because I wanna get some things for the guys in Venezuela which they don't have food or well they don't have lots of food so I'm gonna take like essentials like flour, oil, things like that so we can give up. So I just made it back to the boat, we did the checkout we got the things we needed for the Venezuelan people. I got a little pack of flour, one little cooking oil, and a little bag of rice. We got that times 10, so we could take it to the people that, that are in need. We're just gonna upload a couple of videos for you guys before we leave, so we have something to show you guys on YouTube while we're gone on Los Roques. We got the Heineken. We got fifty dollar Heineken. We were just talking about it. Guess how much was the Heineken? Fifty dollars. The a little pack of strawberries. Nineteen dollars. Twenty dollars for strawberries. Have you ever seen that in your life? No. Each apple was five easies, right? Yes. Which is how much? Three dollars. No, we're just like low on fruits, but everything else we're super super happy because we got a lot of food. We were really hungry. Well, we were not physically hungry, but we were like mentally hungry because we didn't have enough food because we were eating pasta the rest of the days. So we'll see you guys in La Rakas. No, we're not leaving today. Why are we not leaving today? Did you tell them because you don't want to arrive at night? Yes. So we're not leaving today because we I did the calculations at 5.5 knots and we take about two days and a half. So if we go faster and we leave right now. We uh, arrive like uh, in the morning, at night, and if we go slower, we arrive at night. So the idea is to go like around 10 a.m. We're not gonna leave right now, we're gonna leave tomorrow. The weather window is good for like four days. So we're good people, we're gonna take it easy, we're gonna rest today, we're gonna recharge some batteries. And... Because the past couple of days have been... Yeah, they've been like very moving and doing stuff yeah. and working and going to bed really late like, like yes yesterday we went to bed at two and our bedtime is what is it cruiser's bedtime which yes. is like at nine eight 
8.30. 8.30? <laughs> I'm already sleeping. We're going to sleep with the chickens, you know? <laughs> yes. So this is going to be the first time we we're going to be I didn't know far until yesterday. offshore for the longest time. So we're usually like next to islands. So coming from the USBIs to Antigua, we're always like between islands and near like land. We all, we, we're all always able to see land or we're, when we're not able to see land, it's like four hours and that's it. But this trip is gonna be like two days without seeing land. We're gonna be pretty offshore because we don't wanna be too near Venezuela because there's pirates. We're gonna turn off the AIS and the lights. So we're, we're gonna be sailing dark. So nerve wracking. <laughs> now I can't sleep while we're sailing. <laughs> now I have to actually pay attention yes. because we don't have AIS and we don't have yes, totally. um, lights. lights. Well, we, we might turn on the lights for the first night, but when we get near like Venezuela, we're gonna turn them off. There's a lot of shipping cargo uh, boats, boats, like in that area. So we need to keep an eye out and that's it. Looks pretty safe. And we'll let you guys know our experience. Is there anything you wanna say? Are you nervous? <laughs> you have that nervous look? <laughs> yes, I'm a little nervous. When was the last time? We haven't sailed like this in like at least eight months, nine yeah. months. Don't forget to join us next week as we head to Venezuela. See you next Sunday.